Hey there students. So in this video today, we're going to talk about the high-low method. A very important method you must know to separate your costs, fixed costs and variable costs, or what they call mixed costs. So this is a way you can separate your mixed costs, which is a combination of variable and fixed. High-low method, though, is a certain method you must use in this class. There's going to be a lot of questions on it. So basically, it revolves around activity and costs. <laughs> so that's a stupid joke there. But it's actually about activity, mainly. So let's take a look here. Five easy steps in the high-low method. Write these down. This will help you with each problem. You got to follow these steps to get the answer. One, you're going to find the highest activity. Activity could be anything. Units produced, uh, calls made. Um, there's a lot of different types of activities. You'll see in the next example here. But activities. Two, you're going to notate the cost All right, of that highest activity. You find the highest activity first. Then you write down the cost of that activity. Second, you find the lowest activity. Notate the cost of that low activity. Fifth, plug it into the formula. So what's most important here is that you're looking for the activities first, and then you look at the costs associated with it. The real big point here is that even though the activity is high, it won't always produce the highest amount of costs. Same with low. So always look for the activity first and then look at the cost associated with it. Let me show you here. Okay, so let me give you a little example here. So I'm gonna set it up for you. Here's the columns you need. Month, calls made, we're gonna use that, and costs. Calls made will be your activity. Costs will be your costs. So. For the month here, January, you have 100 calls made, be $2,000. February, you made 425 calls, and it was $8,000. March, 500 calls, $7,500. April, 200 calls, $1,500. Now, what's the first step? You're going to find the highest activity. Calls made is your activity. So what's the highest activity? I see March, $500, or sorry, 500 calls. And your cost associated, $7,500. Now what's your lowest? Now again, don't look at the costs, right? Look at the activity first. I see lowest activity is January, 100 calls. So that means that $2,000 was the cost. But see here, notice April, the costs are lower. Doesn't matter though. You look for the activity first and then the cost. That's how it works. So how do we plug this in? Well, here's the formula. Write this down. High cost minus low cost divided by high activity minus low activity. Now we're going to plug these numbers in. And so this is going to equal what they call your variable cost per activity. So let me show you here. Let's plug it in. $7,500, right, was your high cost. Hopefully you wrote that down. Minus your $2,000 in low costs. Then divided by your activities, right? 500 calls were made minus 100 calls. And that equals... $13.75. So if you didn't write those numbers down, I kind of tested you here. You have to write them down so you can know how to plug them into the formula. So rewind the video if you need to and write down the numbers I designated so you can see why I plugged them in here. High cost minus low cost divided by high activity minus low activity. So there's your variable rate, $13.75. That's the variable rate formula for high-low. Now let me show you how to get to fixed costs. How do you calculate fixed costs? Well, take your total costs at the highest point. And what you're going to do 
you're gonna go ahead and subtract your variable rate times the highest activity, okay? So variable rate was 1375, right? Your high activity was 500. Your total cost at high point, you'll see here. Let's go ahead and plug it in. This is gonna be equal to your fixed costs. So we're gonna plug in some numbers. Take that $7,500, right? Remember you wrote that down, that's your highest cost. Then we're gonna subtract here our variable rate, 1375 times 500, your highest activity. That's how you get your fixed costs here. And we get $625, okay? So your fixed costs were 625, your variable rate was 1375. We're gonna use this now and plug it into the total cost formula. Let me show you. Fixed costs, right? You should know this from the last video. Plus variable rate times your output equals total costs. So let's plug those numbers in. $625 was your fixed costs plus 1375 times 500, and that's going to equal $7,500. So that's your total cost there. Now, I'm not going to go back all the way through it, but once again, you have to do the high low method, right, to get your variable rate. You're going to use that, take your highest cost, subtract your variable rate times the output to get your fixed costs, and now you plug it into the total cost formula. So it goes in steps like that. You're going to have to rewind this video and take notes if you haven't already to see how these all are plugged in together. What I would recommend is to take notes on each formula and then go ahead and mark down the numbers that are correct, and plug it in so you can calculate it with me. That's about it here for the high-low method. You have to know it for your tests. And don't worry, we're going to practice a lot of test questions here on the high-low method to get you prepped. So thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.